Hey, what's up? It's me, Ibs, here in the flesh, and I'm gonna try something new here on this channel and tell a little bit of story time. I've been feeling like the content on this channel has been getting a little bit dry and repetitive, so I'm gonna switch it up a bit. And today, I'm gonna be telling you some pretty shitty stories, and by shitty, I don't mean bad, I mean literally about poop. I got a few poopy stories I wanna share because I feel like... I feel like a lot of poop has been in my life. For some odd reason, I got a lot of stories about poop and I was gonna fit all of them in one video. So it all started in the first day of fourth grade. I don't know how I remember this. I don't even know how this story was even possible, but you know how it goes on the first day of school. You got the icebreakers, meeting everybody in your class and whatnot. So we're all on the carpet floor, you know, the main floor of the classroom, all just talking to each other, moving around. And when the teacher tells us to stop, we go back and there's just a piece of poop, a fucking turd if you will, on the carpet. It was just the perfect turd just sitting there on the carpet. I don't know how it even got there. How did it, did it fall through the pant leg? Did somebody pull down their pants in a crowd of other fourth graders and just poop on the floor? How did this happen? Maybe that's why I remember it because it just bothers me. It's like, how did this even happen? How, like, what was their strategy? Like, it must have been the perfect strategy because they got away with it too. Nobody got in trouble. Nobody knew who did it. It was low-key on some Assassin's Creed type shit that committed the perfect crime in a crowd of people and nobody noticed. The teacher ended up calling the janitor and it was swept up. The poop was swept up and forgotten about. I think I'm probably the only person that remembers this. Now for the next four years, there wasn't any poop incidents until the eighth grade. See, the way my middle school was set up each grade had their own pod of hallway. So the sixth graders all had their classes in the sixth grade pod, the seventh graders, eighth graders, etc. in their own pods. And each pod had their own set of boy and girl bathrooms. Now all the eighth graders one day got called into an assembly because somebody decided to be a really funny fucking idea to take a shit right in the eighth grader pod sink. Now I might be remembering it wrong, it might have been a sink, it might have been a urinal, either way, poop was somewhere where it didn't belong. There was a rumor about the administrators offering a $20 gift card to anybody who has any information about the incident, but I don't know if anybody claimed that because I don't think they ever found who did it again. I don't know, I maybe they did and I just don't remember? I, I don't know. I guess you could say I have a really shitty memory. Fast forward another five to four years, and I'm working a part-time job as a cashier at a place called Menards. It's basically a Home Depot, but that's not relevant. What is relevant though, is that I was working the closing shift. This means after we close up the store, we're gonna have to clean it up a bit. My job was to clean up the bathroom. So I go into the bathroom with my broom and dustpan, and you know, I get in there, and I smell something a little bit odd. Something smells a little fishy. Something smells a little shitty. And I go into one of the stalls, I believe it was the handicap stall, and I just see a piece of shit right on the floor. Completely missed the toilet. First off, I'm not cleaning that shit up, but what's really odd about this story is that I go out and tell my supervisor about it. Now, did she get grossed out? Did she get mad? Upset? Anything? No. She laughed, pulled out her walkie-talkie, and called up the janitor saying they did it again. What do you mean they did it again? This isn't the first time this happened? There's a serial pooper at Menards just going into the bathroom stall and pooping on the floor? I swear to God, they still haven't been caught. This is probably the guy from fourth grade. This is probably the same guy that took a shit in the sink. It's the same, I guarantee you it's the same fucking guy. Putting all the pieces together of my life, this serial poopist has been terrorizing my life with poop. And it's been going on since the fourth grade. You know how like serial killers kill animals when they're kids and nobody tells them it's right or wrong? And so they grow up to become these mass murderers? It's the same shit with this guy. This guy took his shit on the floor, didn't get caught, never knew it was wrong, and now he's shitting everywhere. And by some freak accident of fate, I'm intertwined with this guy's poop incidents. It is my destiny to stop this man. Well, to be honest, I actually haven't had a poop incident in a while. That was probably the last one. You know, knock on wood though, right? I mean, who knows? Maybe tomorrow I'll just wake up with a fat fucking turd on my face. But yeah, I might have exaggerated at the end about it being the same guy, but these are true stories that I just randomly remember in my life. But if you enjoyed this video and want me to make more of these like story videos, just let me know and I got you.